Eastern Washington get focused to take on Central Washington in the Cup semifinal match. Early on, that focus pays off as the Eagles secure possession and take it to the Wildcats. They look to move the ball wide with two big swooping passes, finally finding Eric Poplis out wide who steps in Smith pins his ears back for the try line. Tim Stanfield can't stop him and the Eagles score a surprise five pointer to begin the game. From the ruck, Patty Blair plays scrum half, gets the ball moving. Central now looking to attack against the Eagles. Ball ends up in Smith's hand. Smith hits the line, fends one, two defenders. Eastern throws a dummy, finally offloads to 10. Stanfield and the All-American is away for the reply try. Wildcats looking to assert themselves on offense. Smith to Blair. Blair goes around the inside, shuns one tackle. Dummies finally is going to offload to trailing Patty Blair. Blair goes over for another Wildcats try. Poplis kicks off the second half for the Eagles, and the kickoff goes straight to Tanner Barnes. The Eagles open the door for Barnes and let him straight through. He goes down the sideline looking for support, pins his ears back, turns on the afterburners, and he's away. No one from Eastern is going to stop him. Central finishes the game 40-5 on to the cup final. After a great day of rugby, we finally made it. The cup final. The Western Washington Vikings take on the determined Central Washington Wildcats out of Ellensburg. Alex Rayer kicks off in this important game where the winner goes on to the National College Sevens competition held in mid-December. Vikings take the early initiative in this one, testing the Wildcats' defense. Phelps takes the ball up, looks to probe, finally gives the ball off to Moy. Moy is nicely wrapped up by Central, pops the ball out. Austin Colville gets it on to Matthew Jensen. Jensen takes it to the line, sidesteps one, does a nice little backdoor offload to Gaver Grossman. Grossman takes it up, Wildcats on the back foot here. Western recycles, Jensen takes it, no defense home, and he's over the line. Wildcats wrap him up, hold him up, and the try is not given. Replay is inconclusive, but Central's Tanner Barnes executes a nice wrestling move and keeps the Western player from touching the ball down for a try. At scrum time, Western can't get clean ball. Finally, it's going to find the hands of the Wildcats' Smith, who's going to take the ball away from the line, relieve all the pressure Western was just asserting on Central. Another Viking scrum, but again, the ball comes back to Central, and number 11, Josh Bowers is going to make a break down the sideline. No one marked him up. His speed is going to be too much, and all that pressure that Western was just putting is now stopped as Central dots over for the first try. Rayher attempts the conversion, but narrowly misses from the out wide position. From 10 yards out, the Wildcats keep the pressure on the Vikings. Ball goes from Josh Bauer to Jacob Bates, then to Paul Smith. Smith cuts off his left, and he straightens the run, but the Vikings are there to make the tackle. Stream over the ruck. Uh, but they're going to commit a penalty here. Hands in. Referee's there. Patty Blair's quick to take the tap. Wrangles one of the Western players down. Western did not retreat 10 yards. Commit another penalty. Losing a little bit of their discipline here as they feel the pressure the Wildcats are asserting. Finally, Bowers takes the quick tap, makes one step, and he's over for another try. This time, Ray here takes the conversion, and it's an easy one. He makes it. Extra two points added. Poor Western Washington pass finds the hands of Colin Moy. Moy relieves the pressure with a nice rubber kick, chases the ball. Alex Rayer, though, he's there, sheds Moy's tackle, sheds another Western's tackle, and he's free up the sideline, looks in support to Patty Blair. Blair takes it, throws one dummy, tucks his head. He's looking to make the line, looks inside, looks outside, finds Alex Rayer there to make a support, fumbles the ball, but he's over for a try. Rayer's conversion angle is a tricky one. He's going to push the ball just right, misses the conversion. From the kickoff, Central's Tanner Barnes is going to go up for the ball, tap it back right into Blair's hands. Blair offloads to Smith. Smith breaks a defender. He's going to offload to Bauer. Bauer nicely draws the man. Tim Stanfield, the All-American, does some work, shrugs the defender, and leaps over for a try. Despite the hard angle and the conversion, Rayer strokes his kick and adds the extra two. Second half to the championship game at the NCRC Sevens. Western Washington kicks off to an increasingly dominant central team. Vikings get some early second half possession. Ball goes to Robert Bonish, who does a couple juke moves. Can't quite get past the final defender. Tap tackled, goes down. Ball ends in Grossman's hands. His pass goes loose, and the All-American Central Tim Stanfield makes a rare mistake and knocks on. 
The Wildcats secure the lineup. Bauer goes back to Barnes. Barnes on the sideline cuts up before finally being taken down by a couple Western players. At the ruck, Central looks to move it wide where their speedster Tim Stanfill is. Smith gets the ball here, throws an errant pass to Stanfill. Can't get his hands to it, so he puts his foot to it, chips ahead. Central Wildcat chases on, but Grossman is there in the cover defense to safely kick the ball on the touch. Blair wins a great ball at the lineup, but the referee says that ball is not straight and it's a turnover to Western. Western throwing on the other side of the field. They go short to Austin Colville, whose pass is loose. Patty Blair cleans it up, goes out. Central attacks. Rayher gets it, throws to Tim Stanfield. Stanfield probes the end of the Viking defense before deciding to go back inside. Nice little one-two exchange. Vikings finally put him down. No ruck. Smith gets it under pressure. Throws a loose pass. It's going to be cleaned up by the Wildcats. On to Patty Blair, who throws a short dummy. Then a slightly forward pass on to Bates. Bates goes inside, fends a couple defenders. Tries to make it to the line. Can't quite get it there on the first attempt. Not held, though, and dives over for a great Central Washington team try. Simple conversion follows, no problems for Rayher. Rayher's restart is a beautiful towering kick, but the Vikings are there to secure it. The Vikings have looked good from time to time in this game. They just haven't had the creativity to break through the central defense. Here they give it to Colleen. Colleen goes wide back inside to Grossman. That's a good start. Grossman's tackled, passes back to Colleen. Now Western Washington looks to go back the other way. Hands takes the ball out wide. Finally, Phelps gets it, goes to Moy. Moy doesn't know what to do. He's wrapped up by Blair. Now we're going back to the other side. The Vikings are probing. They're trying to find a hole in Central's defense. They go left. Now they're going to go back right through a number of players' hands. Central scrambling to get the players in place to make the tackles. They go inside to Moy. Moy breaks the line. He's through Central's defense. Central scrambling. Moy breaks a number of tackles before finally going down and offloading to Colville. Colville has to shed one tackle, rolls over for the consolation try. Good job by Western. And the try close to the post means that the conversion is easy and it is converted. The ensuing kickoff lands in the Wildcats' hands and all they have to do is kick the ball into touch. With the final whistle blowing, the Wildcats win the game 31-7. Central Washington are the 2011 NCRC Sevens champions and progress to the National College Sevens Championship in December. We now go to the field where Elise Miller caught up with some of the Wildcats' team. I'm here with Patty Blair. Great win. Thank you. So, how, what do you think about the tournament? How did it go? Uh, I was overall, it was pretty good. Uh, first, uh, we weren't playing our system the way we like to, but uh, we got it together towards the end, and we really played as a team. Anything that didn't go as planned, or that you kind of got nervous about? Uh, yeah, it's rugby. I mean, it never goes as planned. If it did, you know, we wouldn't get tackled. But uh, you know, you just roll with the punches, and uh, we did a really good job of uh, adapting and. Um, and maintaining our system and our structure and uh, not falling apart. What gave you guys the edge today? Uh, well, you know, uh, earlier in the day we weren't really sticking to our systems and how we trained all um, all uh, the last few weeks in the build-up. And um, in that first half, that first 10 minutes, boy, we played um, the way I want them to and the way they want to. Um, they stuck to their system and we just gashed them for uh, several tries in the first half and um, at that point uh, I think uh, maybe Western was a little gassed and, and they put a lot of effort to get to that point and uh, it was just a bit of a mountain for them to climb at that point so we kind of secured it by halftime. So. What else do you think that maybe you guys should work on as you move forward? Oh, uh, fitness for sure. They're going to hate me in the next two months. You know, We have uh, Nationals now in December and we're going to run. We're going to run a lot. The boys are going to be fit, right? We were, uh, we were fit enough to win this tournament, but not fit enough to win a national championship, and that's what we're trying to get. So. 